2014, level two ele electricity. Question two, resistors in the DC circuit. Sandra is investigating electrical circuits in the lab. Connects various resistors in combination. You can see in the diagram there. The current drawn from the supply is 6.0 amps. Calculate the effective resistance of the circuit. You have to add the uh, series bit here first, and then you have to, so that's going to be equal to 6.8, 8 ohms, 2.2 plus 4.6. Um, and then you're going to uh, do 1 over RP equals 1 over 6.8 plus 1 over 3.0 plus 1 over 3.5. And you rearrange that, add it all up uh, for RP, and that will give you the value of the resistance. Calculate the size of the voltage across the 3.5 ohm. Oh, hang on, that's not correct. I have to adjust my, my working from above um, because that is in series with this part. So you have to Work out 6.8 over 3.5. Once you have RP rearranged from that, you have to add that to the 3.0. Okay. Um, go back and check that if you're if you're not sure. B is calculate the size of the voltage across the 3.5 ohm resistor. Um, scroll back down just a little bit. You can see um, that the the 3 ohm resistor here with six amps running through it will have um, a particular voltage drop. And then the remaining voltage will be um, the voltage across this section and this section. So the same voltage across those two sections. So um, if I was to write you a sort of a summary equation, it would be um, V 3.5 is going to be equal to... Um, ooh, tricky actually. Um, we don't know the supply voltage, do we? But in any case... We're still going to have a formula. So we're still going to have a formula um, for the voltage of the supply minus the voltage across the 3.0 ohm resistor. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be able to uh, work it for us unless we know that supply voltage. If you're being a little bit tricky, you could say that the voltage of that is 1.5 volts. Um, that's typically what a cell voltage is. But I don't think they're expecting you to know that. So um, another alternative, if you know that there are, uh, where's a little pointer? If you know that there's six amps running through three ohms, you can then um, work out what the current in total is, where well, you know the current is six amps going through both of those sections. So then you can divide up the. Um, Okay, now that's going even more complex. I'll tell you what that was and then I'll go to the other way. Then you can um, divide that 6 amps up according to the ratio of the resistances. But a better way is just to take the resistance of that whole parallel section and multiply it by that current in total, because it's the total resistance and the total current passing through. Um, and that will give you the voltage. So the voltage in parallel is equal, V equals I times A equals the current in parallel. That's both of the currents in both branches added times by the resistance in parallel. Okay, moving on. We, we took that one a little bit too um, long because there's so many different approaches. It's nice that it's not, not just a standard approach though, so you have to think about it a little bit. Express your answer to question two to two to the correct number of significant figures. Give a reason for your choice of significant figures. Um, now the rule, if you're um, adding or subtracting, you use uh, the lowest DP, decimal places. If you're multiplying or dividing, you use um, the lowest SF. SF. So when you're giving a reason, you're explaining that um, the lowest DP or the lowest SF um, are the limiting factor. So let's just cruise back up. Um, everything seems to be to two significant figures, so we'd give two significant figures for our final answer. Okay, 2SF. Okay. D, explain which resistor um, would convert the greater amount of energy per second into heat. Um, again, we'd need to cruise back up and see 4.6 or 2.2, is it? Oh, yep, it's on the same branch. Um, if you're doing P equals I squared R or um, P equals V squared over R, current is the same in both. Um, but the voltage won't be, because the voltage will divide up um, according to the resistance, so the larger resistor. Um, so higher resistor means higher power. Okay, uh, is that it? That's it.